like an imbecile. Okay. Um, it's not that I, you know, I, I have anatomy and, and physiology and other science knowledge. Okay. What I'm learning with you, um. Good morning, friends. Greetings and welcome to the Bright Side, your nutritional program dedicated to the understanding of the vast world of nutrition and nutritional supplementation. I'm your host, pharmacist Ben, nutritional pharmacist from Boulder, Colorado. I specialize in using nutritional supplements where other healthcare practitioners use toxic pharmaceutical drugs and deadly medical procedures. If you suspect that there are natural nutritional roads to your vitality and health and well-being and to addressing your health challenges, whatever they may be, but you don't know where to begin, you have come to the right place. As you listen to The Bright Side every day, you are more and more in control of your body, you are more and more knowledgeable, and you know you can overcome any health issue. That is why we are here every day on The Bright Side, helping clear up the sometimes confusing world of nutrition and nutritional supplementation. Over the last 27 years of practice in pharmacy, I have seen drug-free recoveries from diabetes and hypertension and obesity and skin diseases like psoriasis, eczema, rosacea, acne, digestive ailments, autoimmune issues of all kinds, recoveries that by the standards of modern medicine can only be called a miracle. But what is in the world of the body, what is in the world of biology, standard operating procedure, because the human biological system is a healing system, it's a regenerating system, it is designed divinely to heal heal and renew itself on a moment-to-moment basis. And while some folks may call that healing, renewing, regenerating system a miracle, it really is no miracle at all. It is simply the way the body works. If you have questions about health or nutrition or prescription drugs, we are here for you on the Bright Side. We welcome your phone calls. Our number today, our number every day on the Bright Side is 855-660-4261. That's 855-660-4261. If you've got questions about health, nutrition, prescription drugs, if you want to get off your meds and get on a good nutritional supplement program, we can help you. 855-660-4261 is our bright side number. Try to get on board early so we can get to as many calls as possible. 855-660-4261. If you have questions about the Jevy products or if you want to purchase any of the Jevy products that you hear us recommend on the program, you can call the bright side Ben phone team at 866-735-2470. That's 866-735-2470. Or you can check out my website, brightsideben.com. And click on the Buy Now link on the upper left-hand corner of the page. We've got all the Jeffy products up, all the start packs and weight loss packs and digestion packs. The Beyond Tang Tangerine, of course, my personal favorite product. Pollen Burst is up there. All the Jeffy products that you hear us talk about on the Bright Side are up at brightsideben.com. You can click on the Buy Now link, or you can call the Bright Side Ben phone team at 866-735-2470. Make sure you ask them about joining the Bright Side Ben team as well for a one-time $10 dollar fee. You can start yourself a longevity business and enjoy all the tax benefits associated with having your own business. You can get your products at the wholesale price, too, and help spread the word about the power of a good nutritional supplement program. All right. Thanks so much for joining us on The Bright Side. We are talking about peptides and skin lightening and eye health and bone health. We left off uh, yesterday on The Bright Side talking about the deluxe form of vitamin E, tocotrienols, as opposed to the lesser, lesser deluxe, I guess you say. The less expensive version of Good vitamin deal. E, What's the tocopherols, which are uh, the kind of vitamin E that you'll find in most vitamin E products. Tocotrienols are really not found in a lot of products. They're kind of a, the new kid on the block, even though we've known about them for about 30 or 40 years now. They're sort of the new kid on the block. They're getting a lot of press these days, at least in the world of uh, in the world of, uh, of nutrition nutrition journals. The trade journals are all talking about tocotrienols. There's some on the mainstream press yet, although I did see a, a couple of articles on CNN about tocotrienols and tocotrienols. Tocotrienols actually made the news last week as, uh, as far as helping with Alzheimer's disease and brain health issues. All vitamin E will do that for you, but tocotrienols are even more powerful when it comes to antioxidation than tocopherols. And that's where, uh, that's where this anti-pigmentation issue comes in. Tocopherols will help you with pigment, but tocotrienols will really help you with pigment. That's because tocotrienols, the deluxe form of vitamin E, in addition to being able to suppress the oxidation, obviously, it's the rusting, if you will, of melanin. You know, what are human beings are the tocotrienols can actually suppress the activity of the enzyme that makes the skin dark. So they have two benefits there. This is a fact. The tocotrienols can actually have an antioxidant effect, and then they can have an enzyme inhibiting effect, which is completely separate. That gives them super duper skin lightening properties, and that makes them as effective, probably, or at least close to as effective, as the gold standard of anti pigmentation. 
of the Skin Lightning products, and that's something called hydroquinone. Hydroquinone is really nasty stuff, as well as it does work. It sure does work. Uh, it is the gold standard of Skin Lightning products, and it's pretty much only used in prescription Skin Lightning products because of its toxicity. There's still some products that you can get over the counter that have hydroquinone in them, but they're typically at a very low concentration. To really get hydroquinone benefits, you got to go into prescription strength, and that's usually 4% or 5%, although I was making a 10% hydroquinone product in my pharmacy. That was really toxic stuff, although uh, I have to say it did work pretty well. If you were to eat the same amount of hydro, hydroquinone as you uh, as uh, you apply on your skin, you get really, really sick. That stuff is super, super nasty. In fact, it's actually uh, banned, I believe, in Europe, or it's going to be banned in Europe, hydroquinone. If you want it, skin lightning, uh, that's the stuff, but, man, it sure is nasty stuff. Uh, and the, the bottom line is, is, if your skin is, is pigmenting inappropriately, you've probably got something going on in your biochemistry. We'll talk about that here in a second. Tocotrienol can lighten the skin. They lighten the skin in a non-toxic fashion. And in addition to the anti-pigmentation effects, the skin lightening effects that you're going to get from this super, super essential vitamin, tocotrienol, you're going to be able to thin your blood. You'll have better circulation. You'll improve heart health in general. Tocotrienols are also very important for the brain. It's all non-toxic. Now, that is my kind of skin lightener. Why would you mess around with hydroquinone, a toxic drug, when you can use tocotrienols, which, if they're not as effective, Effective as hydroquinones, they still have a pretty nice skin lightening effect. And on top of their skin lightening benefits, the skin lightening benefits that you'll get from the tocotrienols, you'll also get heart health benefits, blood health benefits, and you'll also get brain health benefits too. That's a really neat skin lightener. And you're not going to find tocotrienols in very many foods. Palm oil is probably the best food source of tocotrienols. There's a, a little bit of tocotrienols in rice bran, uh, grains in general, oats, barley. They'll get you some tocotrienol, tocotrienols as well. But if you really want to take advantage of tocotrienols for your brain, for brain health, for Alzheimer's, for dementia, for skin lightening, for heart health, for circulatory system health, you're really going to want to supplement with tocotrienols. And you can pretty much find them uh, at your favorite uh, nutrients supplier, your nutrient uh, supply store, internet, wherever you buy your nutrients, your supplements. Right. In addition to oxidation, rusting, two other major causes of hyperpigmentation, of darkening of the skin are the stress hormones, cortisol and estrogen, and then perhaps a uh, lack of intake or lack of absorption of antioxidant nutrients. Those are the three big reasons why our skin pigments. Number one, it's stress hormones, cortisol and estrogen, and uh, cortisol Cell number one, estrogen number two, and number three, oxidation, uh, and that can involve deficiencies in, uh, in intake of antioxidants or also absorption if you have some kind of digestive problem. There's a very close relationship between the formation of blotchy skin, of dark skin, of dark spots, hyperpigmentation, melasma, whatever you want to call it. There's a very close relationship between this formation of pigment, inappropriate formation of pigment, and the generic stress response. It's really important to understand. Nature has designed the body so that when stress, when the body is under stress, an entire constellation of effects will occur in the body. Hypertension will occur when the body is under stress. And keep in mind, when we talk about stress, I'm not just talking about emotional stress or mental stress. This is what we think of when we hear the, the word stress. Stress is almost like a cliche in our in our culture. Oh, you have too much stress. Stop stressing so much. Why are you stressing? Stressing like that. We always think of emotional stress and mental stress, but we don't often think of physiologic stress. Insulin, for example, is a physiologic stressor. Sugar is a physiologic stressor.